What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. Okay, so we are still on the family's topic. So this time, we're going to learn what's the difference between the symbolic lines when you use uh, detail lines and model lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is from level 1, Okay, so as you can see here for this air terminal, so you have this symbolic lines. So this is actually symbolic lines to see for the symbol of your air terminal. So if I'm going to open this family, so this is a very quick video. I just want to show you the difference between the detail lines and model line. So select this and then let's check out the edit family here. So I'm going to select that one and then it will open up the family editor. So we know this already that this is a family editor. So this is where you create your component or loadable family. So I go to the views and then open up the floor plans reference level. Okay, so in our uh, view currently, the air terminal geometry and symbolic uh, representation is visible here. Okay, so now for us to be able to see it properly, so I'm going to change the scale here because the annotation here, the texts are too big. So let's change this, let's say one and one half inch to one foot. Okay, so something like this. So as you can see, so there's the symbolic lines here. So if you want to create the symbol for your family, so you just need to create a symbolic line. So where is that? So if you go to the annotate, so you can see here symbolic lines. Okay, so what is symbolic lines? So let's hover our pointer. So it says there it creates lines that are meant for symbolic purposes only and are not part of the actual geometry of the component or building component or building model so meaning to say it's just a 2d drawing so it's just a symbol so as you can see on the image of the symbolic line so we use the symbolic line as a symbol for for example for the door right you see that arc so that's a symbolic line so so according to the further description, so for example, you might sketch symbolic lines in an elevation view to represent a door swing in an architectural project. So you can also do the symbolic lines in elevation or to represent the cutback distance for a beam in a structural project. So symbolic lines are visible parallel to the view in which you sketch them. So that is the key here. Okay, so as you can see here, my symbolic lines here are this line here. So that one symbolic lines. So you will only see the symbolic lines in the view where you have drawn it. So if we draw the symbolic line for our air terminal on the floor plan, so you can only see that symbols in the floor plan. Okay, so be aware that symbolic lines will only appear in view parallel to the creation view. Okay, and then the detail levels that the symbolic lines appears, it can be controlled. Okay, so the detail level of this one. So if you go to the, if you select, let's say, one of the detail line, so you can see there's a visibility here. So that's our symbolic line. If I click the visibility settings, so you can see here the family element visibility settings. So symbolic lines are view specific, uh, view direction specific. So they only show in the views parallel to their creation view. So if you create that on the floor plan like this one, so you can only see that on the floor plan. So you can control the visibility of your symbolic lines in detail levels such as coarse, medium, or fine. Okay, so this is your detail level here. So if you change your detail level to coarse, you can, stease, uh, you can still see the symbolic line. If you change that to medium or fine, you can still see the symbolic lines in that detail levels because you have checked it here. Okay, and another thing that I want you to notice here is the arrow symbol. This one, so this... Uh, detail item this is actually a nested family so meaning to say this is a family inserted inside the supply diffuser family so that's why it is a nested family so as you can see when i select these arrows 
Okay, you see, there is the edit family here. So meaning to say, this is a family inserted inside this supply diffuser family. So it is a nested family. Okay, so you can do that. So you can create a family and then after that, you can insert that family inside another family. Okay, so it will become a nested family. So if I click here, this arrow here, and then I go to the property, so that uh, arrow are being controlled by the visibility parameters here. So if I click the associate family parameter, if I click that one, you can see that these are the visibility parameters that is uh, created to control the visibility of the left, down, right, and up arrow. So that's why if I go back again to the uh, floor plan view and then if I click, if I click the air terminal, as you can see, there's the parameters that can uh, that can control the visibility of your arrow. So I can just click that one so it will only show that arrow, right? So you can click that. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So that is your symbolic lines. Okay, so symbolic lines can only be uh, seen in the view parallel to where you have drawn it. Alright, now the next thing that we are going to check, uh, let's go back to our project. So that's a symbolic line. So if I go to the 3D view of this project here, so here you will notice that there is a 2D elements here in 3D view. Okay. So if we even if we switch to the 3D view, okay, so you will notice that in this view, the valve symbol appears when the detail level is coarse or medium. You see this one here? So it's coarse, coarse here. All right. And then uh, medium. But if I change that to fine, it shows that in 3D, okay? So this type of symbol cannot be created using symbolic lines because like what I have said earlier, symbolic lines is uh, just for a 2D elements, okay? So it's only a 2D element. So for symbology like this, so you use model line tool, okay? So what is that model line tool? So let me just quickly show you where is that? So I click this family here, this valve, and then I go to edit family. There you go. All right. So your model line here is this one. Okay. So it creates a line that exists in 3D space and is visible in all views of a project. So you can use model lines to represent 3D geometry in a building design such as uh, cords or cables that secured a tarp. Okay, so to create detail lines that are visible only in particular view, so you use detail line. Okay, but for you to be able to see that in 3D view, so you use model line. Okay, right, so if we go to the floor plan view, this one. Okay, uh, let me just change the scale. So here you can create a model line. And then after that, you can control that particular uh, model line by using your visibility settings here. Okay, so basically that's the difference between your symbolic lines and model lines. Very simple. Okay. So again, it's part of your exercise. That's why I'm showing you just for you to be able to have an idea on how it works. All right. So thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.